I've shared this story on social media, but it's really been on my mind, so I have to share this story. Welcome to Esovic React, where we dive into the latest viral videos, trending topics, and cultural phenomena. Get ready to laugh, cringe, and maybe even learn a thing or two as we explore the internet's most intriguing content. In this video, this lady stands and opposing her statement regarding the importance of protecting men's assets before marriage, one could emphasize the fallacies in her argument and challenge her perspective. I thought I'd share this story on social media, but it's really been on my mind, so I have to share this story. So before I got married, I started researching prenups. I'm a huge fan of personal finance. I made personal finance content. Every single book I've read, every single person I've followed who talks about personal finance always encourages you to get a prenup before you get married. I don't come from generational wealth and neither does my partner, but we do have assets that we might want to protect. But there's a huge caveat. We have almost the same amount of assets, like the values are about the same, but they're held in different places. We have almost the exact same income. So I wasn't sure if we would be the perfect candidate for getting a prenup. So I'm just like, you know what, let me talk to a lawyer. The lady begins by detailing her personal interest in personal finance and her research into prenuptial agreements before marriage. She expressed uncertainty about whether herself and her future husband should pursue a prenup given they have similar financial circumstances. However, the young woman takes a critical turn when she consults a male lawyer, expecting guidance on the need for a prenup. Instead, the lawyer's focus on protecting the assets of the woman's fiancé who is a male man is met with disdain and interpreted as an example of sexism. So I find a lawyer through the job that I was working at at that time, and I decide to talk to this lawyer who is a male lawyer. So I'm explaining the situation exactly like I would explain to you that we've heard that a lot of people say that we should get a prenup. We don't come from generational wealth. We have some assets to protect. They're held in different places. We make about the same income. Do you think we need a prenup? Tell me why the lawyer tells me. Let's think about how we can protect your fiance's assets, like my future husband's assets. What? The young lady criticizes the lawyer's suggestion, claiming it disregards the equality in financial standing between her and her fiancé. This critique of the lawyer's advice is flawed and lacks nuance. Prenuptial agreements are not solely about protecting the assets of one party over the other, rather, they serve to outline financial arrangements and protect both parties' interests in the event of divorce or separation. The lawyer's suggestion to consider protecting the assets of her fiancé who is a male man is not inherently sexist but rather a pragmatic approach to ensure both parties' financial security. I want to just really emphasize how ridiculous it is that that's the thing the lawyer tells me that we need to focus on doing. So I reach out to you to be my lawyer to protect me and you're telling me let's figure out how we can both me and him protect my fiance's assets, even though the assets are exactly the same. Interesting. It's giving a sexism. And from this whole story, this is why I can never be pro-trad wife. Because we need you girls to be lawyers. We need you guys to be doctors. What I should have done after that call was reach out to the bar and see how we can get that man disbarred. But I didn't. <laughs> But well, from that story, I took away that we need the girls in literally every single place. Furthermore, the young lady assertion that they can never be pro-trad wife and their call for more women in traditionally male-dominated professions oversimplifies the issue of gender equality. While it's crucial to advocate for equal representation in all fields, dismissing the legal profession based on one interaction is reductive and fails to address the broader systemic issues at play. In conclusion, the young woman's criticism of the lawyer's advice and their call for gender equality in professions lacks depth and fails to recognize the complexities of financial planning and legal representation in relationships. Instead of attributing sexism to the lawyer's suggestion, a more nuanced understanding of prenuptial agreements and gender dynamics in relationships is necessary. Thanks for watching Esovic React. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all our latest reactions. Until next time, keep on reacting and enjoying the wonders of the internet.